What about your earrings? Man, you wanna know where I got these from? Yeah. Costco. <laughs> really? I don't know if y'all know it or not, but Costco got a great jury selection. What's going on, y'all? This is E40, and this is On The Rise. Rappers get jewelry, man. You know, some don't. It's just part of the culture, you know? Most of us come from the inner city. We come from the gutter. It's just something we work hard for. It's our, our occupation, so why not spoil ourselves? Who are people that kind of like inspired you or that you looked up to in jewelry? People like Slick Rick, you know, he had all the jewelry. Uh, Biz Markey, Big Daddy Kane, Eric B and Rakim. You know, people like that. They, they you know, they had that big truck jewelry. It's just ice them had the gold grills and all that good stuff, you know, the Mantronics and all of them, so go way back with it. How old were you when you got your first piece? Probably about 13, 14. Something real skinny, you know what I mean? It wasn't nothing, you know, nothing super spectacular. But as I grew, you know, things got better. These are barrel chains from uh, Iceman Nick Dunright. Iceman Nick, y'all might be familiar with him. You can look him up, Iceman Nick from King Johnny's out in Houston. They call me 40 Water. So I say, man, you know, they, nowadays they call jewelry and diamonds. They, you know, they call them the drips. So with drips, water, you feel me? Not a lot of people with these, not a lot of people. I, I should have brought my Bezatine. It's, it's hella big. It's, it's like two, two units, two kilos. The 40 one, you know, they call me 40. So I, I was like, you know, I need another piece to go with it just to, you know what I mean? Because it's the new school look right now, what they rocking with. He melted it, melted it up real quick and put 40, man. And uh, so it go, so they call me 40 water, so it go like that, 40 water. So when I wear it on the neck, it show the 40. He made one smaller on purpose and then another one longer. What's your favorite piece of jewelry that you have? My sick with it chain, big one, with a donkey rope on it. You know what I'm talking about? That's my favorite one. I refuse to make it smaller. I might have to, but it's hella big. It's hella big. It's diamond out. Iceman Nick did it uh, in 2004, 2005. He had me right. I forgot the prices on these. These is up there too, though. All these, because little diamonds in each one of these. You know what I'm saying? I should have. I could have brought the appraisals and all that stuff. I got them all in my drawer. I insure on my jewelry. You know, OGs insure they. You know what I mean? I got earthquake insurance on my house and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'll be insuring shit, man. You feel me? This right here, this is an AP. I can rock the AP with it. And, or I can rock. You already know, just to protect. You know what I mean? Either or. And that's all you really need. You know, people, you know, it depends on what your flavor is. I was, a lot of these people age, they ain't never been mine, so I already done, I already done did it. A lot of things I already done did. So what's old to me might be new to you. So I don't knock nobody. It's just, I don't need too much. I just got this. And then, um, could I spend money on a lot of other things? But jewelry is one of the things we spend, we spend money on in hip hop. Uh, these go anywhere from this AP 100, like 100, 100 plus, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Bought it iced out. And these go anywhere from 90, you know what I mean? I had Rolexes when when I was a teenager, you know? Or it's the perpetual day date, presidential Rolexes. Diamond out the whole wool wop, because you know what I'm saying? I didn't, like I said, I didn't seen it all. But uh, sometimes you just, you know, just move on and you know, you just get what you, you know, some plain stuff sometime, you know what I mean? And you know, and just, just keep it moving, because you find that, you know, a lot of the jewelry is, you know, it don't depreciate as much until you do crazy stuff to it, you know what I mean? But, you know, for the most part, you get the stuff that's not going to uh, depreciate, you know what I'm saying? Who has the best jewelry today? I think Gucci man do. I've been iced out since a little boy. I brought three of my diamond bracelets, take off Offset and Quavo. These are three Amigos. Everything they do is platinum. All three of these are platinum right here. Shout out to Gucci man. <laughs> regular ring, you know what I'm saying? And this is my wedding ring, actually. I, I got two of them, but I rock this the most. I started off with a band. I've been married since 1991. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't afraid to say it. You know, a lot of you rappers, 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all fake it, man. You know, I might talk about some hard headed but just understand that I'm a narrator. You know what I'm saying? I have the platform to talk about stories. I'm a storyteller. You know what I mean? I'm broadcasting live from Magazine Street, man. You know what I mean? Hello. Right on. Man, you wanna know where I got these from? Costco. <laughs> really? No, seriously, Costco, I don't know if y'all know it or not, but Costco got a great jury selection and they got quality diamonds, you know what I mean? When you can't go to um, to the jeweler to, to get your jury clean, you know, you use some toothpaste and a toothbrush, and you you know what I'm saying? When I'm in the shower, I do that right there, and then I rinse it off with the thing, and, and I'm, that's how you clean them. You know what I'm saying? Come out just like you got them um, cleaned at the jeweler. <laughs> That's game 201, E40. Real spill 201. Um, I'm gonna get a couple of uh, more watches, but uh, as far as designs and everything, I can't, I can't reveal, you know, the design and what I'm finna do next. You know it's gonna be something different because E40 is different. When everybody else go right, he go left. I always say don't buy an $85,000 car before you buy a house. But I know we rappers, and I know if you don't look like a rapper, ain't nobody gonna wanna give you no rap money. So you gotta, if, in order to get some money, you gotta look like you got some money. So it's a catch 22, you map it out, pray on it, and you'll see what the outcome is. Yeah.